How's everyone doing today? Pump Tech 78 here. This is my first video uh, at the new house that I bought. This new house uh, come with eight and a half acres. So I'm gonna be able to do a lot more things with my animals than I really could before. I've got plenty of room to do whatever I want. This is a temporary structure made for the pigs got the hog panels four of them i believe they're 16 foot long i've had the pigs in here for about two weeks <laughs> and look at the ground where they have they have tilled this up just now went to local rural king and bought them some feed that's a uh, crushed corn soybean meal i believe soybean seed and uh something else mixed together some kind of mixture i had it all in this 35 gallon barrel that i made for these pigs to eat out of but big boy here old spot he can't eat anything and have any manners so he has to go over here and tilt this over and eat it off the ground. Cause I'm sure you know the ground uh, tastes a lot better than this semi-clean container here. Uh, just don't know about them sometimes. What do you say about it, buddy? They chowing down, stepping in their food. They don't give a damn. Two males uncut here. Just regular old meat hogs. What about it? You gonna get some FaceTime? You gonna get some FaceTime? What about it, biggin? Come here. Like I said, I got four of these uh, hog panels here. The bigger square at the top, then they go smaller at the bottom. Where if you have piglets or small pigs, they can't get out. Got the five gallon bucket here, water bucket. Have the nipple on it. This it works really good for the water. Because if you don't have the proper uh, uh, water container or proper feed containers for pigs, they are just disruptive as hell. If you bring, I can bring that container right there and it'd be the hottest day of the year and fill that up. It'll hold about three gallons of water. You can fill that up with water and they'll knock it over. Just like a Labrador Retriever or a puppy that's got too much time on its hand. So you have to go with the automatic watering nipple. That's a must have if you're gonna have pigs. Have six foot T-post, just hammered in the ground, connected with some wire, looped around about three different spots. But just a temporary structure. Uh, my property come with this old trailer house that was left on the back side of it. Uh, I'm gonna try to, this side over here, I'm gonna come off and build me a lean-to structure for them to sleep in and get out of the rain, get out of the elements, whatever's going on, you know, snow, rain, just cold weather or, or the heat, give them some shade. You hear him, he's over there taking advantage of that automatic water and nipple. What? What is it, Biggie? But the pigs, you put them, 
you can put them in grass. This is what this area looked like right here. You see how tall this grass is? <laughs> That's what this pen looked like about two weeks ago. And now it looks like this. Those pigs will roll around in here and they absolutely love it. They've got one spot over here while they're down. I mean, <laughs> they got a damn sinkhole over here. <laughs> See how deep that is? Them pigs will just lay in there and they'll come out here and they will be covered in mud and they can't be any happier. Lay in the mud, drink the water, eat the feed, all in the good day of being a hog. But like I said, just a little short video about the pigs and the uh, structure at the new house. There'll be a lot more videos coming now because like I said, since I bought this new house, I have a lot more area to have animals. You see in the background, Grizzly 600, old dependable four wheeler, four wheel drive, must have on the small homestead. <laughs> but just a little short video. Y'all have a good one. And until next time I see you, Y'all have a good one.